the Endurance Asia podcast. I know we tell a truthful story if they ever ask. Stop the complaining because things ain't that bad. And the teams evolved now, though, right? So, so you've got yeah, some. Yeah. yeah, I mean, so it kind of started from there. The North Ace really got behind it. They, they, because we didn't just need, you know, we weren't just talking product and stuff. We needed a significant amount of cash to really kick this off properly. We wanted to take Stone to the World Championships in Scotland that next year, and the Singaporean uh, Esther Tan that they mentioned, and we wanted to do a bunch of other stuff too, just trail running and and everything, and and um, and then we built the team from there. We got. Uh, uh, Wei Biao was one of the Ch- China's leading adventure racers. He got him on the team. It's funny on that podium that that year of that race of Keith Noises, Stuart and I are in the middle. Stone is with his Chinese trail walker teammate. Yeah, on, I think they they were second, second or third. I can't remember. And then the other side is Piers, who was a phenomenal mountain biker. You know, slash he became an incredible adventure racer too. He Australian who was based in Beijing or Shanghai at the time, and we all ended up on the team right together. So St- St- Pierre was one of our early members as well. Right. So I raced in w- Wulong in China many years with both Stone and Pierre's and. Yeah. But it's funny. Look at the old photo. I wish I should have brought yeah. it. Like, <laughs> that, that's amazing. And, um, but then and it, yeah. Yeah. And so, the, how did the team expand? Um, so, expand? we just, so we took it from there. And the idea was to, again, get more, more local Asians uh, involved and just more those that we saw potential that might find it. <clears throat> um, you know, again, I, I, I didn't realize they had the potential that they did. I mean, like, yeah. Jay's a perfect example of that from Thailand. I mean, I'm, yeah. I met him on Christmas holiday. Where I just I was there by mountain bike and my wife's like I'm gonna go do you know I wanted to do a yoga class or do some yoga I was like well I'm gonna go mountain bike let's meet in the afternoon and I went to the local the only like the main mountain biking guiding company where in, in Thailand so Chiang Mai, Chiang Mai yeah. and there in the I'm looking like I gotta find the most fit guy I can see and I see Jay in the corner like just fixing a chain on a bike and you know and I'm like this he just shredded you know just super ripped I'm like but he's like in cut off jeans and like you know tank top and I'm like cool let's go out and so we he takes me out and i said i'll just i'm just gonna hire you i don't want to go the group just you and me let's let's you know let's show me the best stuff in chiang mai like yeah. i want to go cross-country riding you know and so we took it's kind of a downhill scene there so we took a jeep to the top of the doisa tip the mountain and then we set off from there because we had, we rode up with a group but they yeah. were going to do our own thing yeah and then um i'll never forget so here I am behind Jay, fall him off this first downhill, and it's on it's on road to get to trail. And the first thing he does is just throw this wheelie down, like here he's riding this, you know, flying downhill, riding a wheelie. I'm right behind him, just going, <laughs> Whoa, "Oh my god, up. this guy has some skill." <laughs> Let's see what he can do uphill, you know, like. And then the first uphill, he's just like crushing it, you know. I'm just like, "God, have you ever raced before?" He's like, "No, not really." I, you know, imagine he's in cut off jeans. He's in, you know. But he's, you know, he's obviously, a, you know, it's super. Spends you know, his he, life up and down. Oh, the and he's yeah. got the pat, and he just loves the bike. It's just yeah. you could see it in his eyes. It wasn't, you know, he's he's one of the first guides in Chiang Mai, yeah. and he still like he still does it today part time. Yeah. Um, but he, yeah, I just love the bike. I see the passion, and I'm like, I could just, I'm like, dude, can you run? Like, after after the whole day, he just kicks my ass, and <laughs> I'm on this heavy like rental too. But it wouldn't have mattered. He would have kicked my ass anyways. And I'm like, man, you you know, I told him about our team a bit, and and. And, uh, I said, and I was thinking not just cause we also, you know, mountain bike racing, you know, was especially back then before ultra trail blew up so much. That was, we were doing a lot more mountain bike racing as well. And, um, pure, not venture, not just adventure race, but mountain bike specific yeah. events. And so I thought, oh, he's thinking obviously he'd be key for that. And, but I also was thinking, gosh, that as an adventure racer, this guy must be tough. And he's like, he's like part Karen Hill tribe. He's got that yeah. shredded, just that tribal like he can at his what's ab- his surname J oh gosh don't, a, don't yeah, make me we will put in the show it, notes it's but, uh, yeah, yeah. super long and complicated yeah. I, I'm embarrassed I but he's just known as J right yes like, uh, yeah. yeah super J yeah super J yeah <laughs> or quadzilla <laughs> <laughs> but uh he he um and can he run as well so that's I'm like dude can you run he's like well I actually my first sport was Muay Thai so I'm thinking, oh, okay, here we go. This Strong. guy, you know, used to run the train for Muay Thai kickboxing, and I'm thinking, oh, he must be tough as nails mentally. I yeah. mean, you know, that was his first sport. Yeah. <laughs> and like, he's got scars all over him and stuff. I'm like, taking oh. leg kicks oh, all the way. Totally. Can take some pain. Oh, I just like, geez. So I was like, Jay, okay. So I said, tomorrow morning, let's meet. 
you know, we're going to go for like a 10 K run. And he hadn't been training fair enough, but I, but I also kind of had to like, like my pride is a bit hurt from getting my ass kicked in the bike. So I, I wound it up on the run and <laughs> you know, he, uh, but he, you know, he held on for most of it. And I could say, Oh, this guy, he hasn't been doing any running lately and he still got, you know, and so he's like literally within that year, got his passport his first plane ticket he brought him brought him to singapore we we actually won the old remember the singapore the old um team of two enduro it was a great race through the night it was they 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 stopped doing it but it was this really cool uh in um the area that was the dump that now it was a landfill campines right or okay a cool trail network that's not there anymore because they they're just condos or something now but um there was a great event that was that was a a relay team of two, and he's like six hour or eight, I forget endurance mountain bike event and oh gosh having him as a teammate was just like and the two of you yeah you and like, so it. we we crushed it and 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 then then we took him to China and on our our Wu Long team and then <clears throat> yeah so I mean then the rest is history Jay yeah. went on to, I took him to the states twice he was. You know, all mountain uh, world championship mountain bikes in Downeyville, California. This is where you got to be strung uphill and crazy downhill, like yeah. proper downhill. And Jay, oh, he did phenomenal. I mean, he had some um, he had some bad luck with mechanicals on the downhill both years. But it sounds he, like he's a mechanic as well. He, he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, if your bike screws up, but yeah. But he was top ten in the cro- in the cross country stage. Wow. Top ten up against all these like you know, f- just incredible mountain bikers, and so. And then it was like, because Ultra has blown up so much, it's like, Jay, you know, if you really, to, to really, I mean, the reality is if you want to kind of take this as far as you can as an athlete, you should really look, you know, looking at mountain running more. And it was funny, I remember him supporting us in Trailwalker one year, and he hadn't really been doing any that, this kind of longer Ultra stuff. And oh my God, he was carrying like our bags, because Trailwalker, Trailwalker, you can have support team carry yeah. stuff. And He's just like with us for 50k or the 100k or something, carrying bags. I'm like, this guy is, you know, He's this, got it. yeah, this you got to think about changing your focus maybe. And so the last few years, Jay Chiang Mai is a great place to oh, live to be able to train for to be running, uh, and, trail and, running. And he now he showed his first world tour event, Hong Kong 100, seventh place. The Endurance Asia podcast. I know we tell a truthful story if they ever ask. Stop the complaining because things ain't that bad. Things ain't that bad. Things ain't that bad.